Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look that I had on in my favorites video. So I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette on my eyes because that's what I had on in that video. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And without further ado, let's jump into this video. Okay, so I zoomed you in. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes using the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. I'm just going to apply this on my eyes. Figured I'd start with my eyes first because normally I don't start with my eyes. And I later regret it when it comes to like the edges right here. It ends up looking really crazy. Lids are primed. I always recommend using a lid primer if you're doing a more dramatic eye look so that way your shadows stay on all day. So first thing we're gonna do is set that primer using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to first set that primer. So I'm going to set that eye primer with the shade Tempura, I think that's called. So it's like this light colored like skin tone shade. We're just going to place this all over the lid. Everywhere that we had placed that primer, just to set it, make sure it's nice and smooth and everything that we put on top will blend nice and even. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put a transition shade into my crease and I'm going to be taking this Morphe M158 brush. It's a fluffy brush with like a rounded top to it. And I'm going to take the shade Golden Ochre right beside that Tempura shade. I'm going to take this and I'm going to dust this into my crease with windshield wiping motions. Placing it right here in the crease all over because this is the shade that all the other transition shades that we are going to be using will blend into. Okay, so we have that golden ochre, it's like a light kind of yellow tan color. So I have that in our crease and now we're gonna go in with a little bit of a darker um, color in the crease. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm gonna take, I think this is raw sienna right under that tempura shade. I'm going to take this and I'm using a Morphe M433 brush. Take this a little bit more of a precise brush and I'm going to focus it right under that transition shade. A little bit into the outer corner as well. Using windshield wiping motions, we're just blending that shade right under that um, golden ochre into the crease. Okay, now going back into that first blending brush, I'm gonna go back into Golden Ochre and blend out just the edges of that to kinda of clean it up and blend it a little bit more. Just buffing out the edges. Okay, now I'm gonna take this flat definer brush. This is the Morphe M432. And I'm going to dip into Antique Bronze. And I'm gonna press this right on the outer corner like right up against my lash line I'm 
And then I'm going to take this like really small fluffy blending brush. This is the Morphe E17 and I'm just going to blend that color. Just kind of buffing it up into the outer V a little bit. Just having a little bit of smokiness but nothing too intense. Now I'm going to take a really small like flat paddle brush thing, Morphe M124, and I'm going to take the shade Primavera, and I'm going to apply this onto my lid. Such a pretty shade. And these also, like, work really well with your fingers. It's going to go back into antique bronze just with this fluffy brush like barely and just kind of buff out buff out that shade okay now I'm gonna go back into this first brush we use and just kind of blend out everything Okay, so that's the eyes. I really like it. It's really like a subtle, soft, like glam eye look. I love it. So now I'm going to zoom you out and we're going to move on to the face. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is prime our skin before we move on to foundation. So we're going to prime and today I'm going to be using the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. Same old, same old. Applying this, warm it up in my fingers first, and then applying it everywhere. So for foundation today, I decided to try the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation again. Um, I tested this out in another video. I don't know why it's not showing it. And I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, I used a different sponge when I tested it out, so I, I wanted to use the e.l.f. sponge today because I love this one and maybe it would work better using a better sponge. So we're going to okay. see. I'm just going to dot this all over my face. Do this one side first. Blend it out. Having a lot of bad acne on my chin. This foundation is like a tad bit too dark for me. So it kind of works out with concealer being kind of light. Yeah, I think it looks good with this sponge. Okay, foundation is on. Now we're going to move on to concealer, and I'm just going to be using my tried and true e.l.f. camo concealer, and I'm just going to do one eye at a time, nothing out of the ordinary. I don't feel like I liked this concealer with a sponge, but that was the other sponge, I think. Blend it out pretty decent. Okay, now we're going to do the other eye. Okay, now I'm going to do the rest of my face. Do my chin. Forehead and nose. Definitely feel like this concealer lightened up that foundation a lot, so it worked out pretty good. 
And I really like it with this e.l.f. sponge. Really good combination. Okay, so that's the base. Now we're going to move on to powder. I think it looks pretty good. I like it with the sponge. I like that foundation with a sponge. Way better than with a brush. For powder, I'm going to be using this loose powder from Cover FX. It's the perfect setting powder. And I'm using translucent light. And I'm just going to be taking this Morphe E3 brush, powder brush, to apply it. This is going to go everywhere. Oh my god. I feel like it kind of like stuck right here when I pressed it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so everything is set. Now I'm going to move on to bronzer and contour. Today I'm going to be using the Smashbox Step-by-Step -Step Contour Palette. And... I think I'm actually going to like seriously contour today so I have a really small like pointed brush this is from Real Techniques the setting brush and I'm gonna dip into the contour shade in this palette this really like gray toned color I'm just gonna take a little bit of this focus it right under my cheekbones But that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to use that on my forehead or anything. But I will go into the bronzer shade. And with this fluffy brush, I'm going to go into the middle bronzer shade. Just kind of blending that a little bit. I don't normally contour because I feel like I can overdo it. And it can look super gray and like really gross on me so I kind of like avoid contouring with those kind of colors but I kind of wanted to try it again today but I really like how this looks we look snatched I'm gonna do my nose really quick not gonna use not using that gray color using this color I'm gonna contour my nose probably should use that gray but we do whatever we want. Looks good. Just gonna contour a little bit underneath my lip. I don't normally do that either, but... Okay, so I love this palette. I definitely recommend this. It's like such a good palette to use every day. I love it. Okay, now we are going to move on. We're gonna move on to blush, and today I'm gonna be using Tarte Exposed Blush. Like a really pretty mauve pink color. kind of wanted a pink for this look because it was pretty like like yellowish tan in the eye so I kind of wanted to bring some pinks to this soften up the look a little bit so we're not like too bronzy and I'm using the Morphe E4 my favorite blush brush there kind of made it look a little bit more feminine with the blush love it now I'm going to do my brows and obviously you already know you already know what I'm gonna be using for my brows first I'm just gonna kind of comb them out for brow pencil I'm gonna be using the I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal brow stylist shape and fill and we're just going to fill in our brows really quick okay now i'm just going to take the spoolie end I'm gonna 
to go back into the palette and I'm going to take that golden ochre shade and just go over everything on my eye. Just kind of making sure all those colors are still there because I felt like they kind of got lost in like the foundation and everything. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Now we are going to finish up the under eye area and I'm going to go back into this flat definer brush and um, I'm not going to take antique bronze. I think I'm going to do raw sienna and I'm going to dip into this color and place it right underneath. I got a little bit of that color from antique bronze on my brush. I should have cleaned it but... Oh well. Um, to blend that out, I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is the Morphe E36. And I'm going to take the golden ochre shade, the transition shade, the one we have been dipping into. And I'm going to blend this out. My eyes are watering like crazy now. Every time I do my lower lash line, I always end up with super watery eyes. Okay, I'm going to set my brows really quick. I'm going to set my brows using the L'Oreal Stylist Boost and Set Brow Mascara in Blonde, I think. I'm in Blonde, both of these, so... Um, now I'm going to, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to be using the Tarte Main Eater Mascara. Love this one. It's so good. Okay, so I got mascara applied. I really have been loving not having any mascara on my lower lashes. I just feel like it makes my eyes look way more open. So I'm just going to leave my lower lashes with no mascara on them. And I'm going to apply highlight really quick. And today I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Highlight 01, the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. I talked about this in my favorites video. And I wanted to show you guys what it looks like because it... It's so pretty. So this is the actual product. I'm just going to take my A23 brush. I'm just going to dip into it. And we're just going to apply this. You see how like gorgeous of like a glow that is? It's so pretty. And like it's definitely a glow from within highlight. I love this. This is like such a perfect highlight for anyone, especially a bridal makeup look or like if you have more mature skin because it's not going to emphasize any texture or wrinkles or anything like that. It's, it's so pretty. I love this highlight. I love this highlight. And I'm going to finish up my eyes really quick just with highlighting. And I'm going to take my really teeny tiny little brush and I'm going to dip into Vermeer, the one on top of Primavera. Take that shade. I'm just going to apply this right underneath my brows, like on my brow bone to highlight. Now we're going to finish off the look with lips and for lip liner I'm going to use a MAC Subculture Lip Liner. And then I'm going to just do my favorite gloss, uh, Buxom White Russian and we're just going to apply this. I love this lip gloss. It's so good for just every day. Just throw it on and you look put together. Okay, this is the completed look. I 
love I love that modern renaissance eye palette you can do so many beautiful looks with it and all the shadows are so easy to work with they're so easy to blend I highly recommend that palette I talked about it in my favorites video but I definitely wanted to do that look for you guys so I hope you guys love this look I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you use this um, palette for any other looks let me know what you kind of did because some of the colors I haven't really dipped into because they're like way too crazy for me but I can definitely play around it with uh, with it some more and come up with other looks so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye